In an elastic collision, both momentum and kinetic energy are conserved. That means the total momentum and the total kinetic energy before and after the collision have to remain the same. Let's break it down with this example. Imagine we have two vehicles. Vehicle 1 has a mass of m1 and an, an initial velocity of u1. Vehicle 2 has a mass of m2 and it starts off with an initial velocity of u2. So we're using these symbols to represent the masses and the initial velocities. When these two vehicles collide, they end up moving with a different velocity afterwards, v1 and v2. Remember kinetic energy is given as half times mass times velocity squared. So we can express the initial kinetic energy as a half m1 u1 squared plus a half m2 u2 squared. This equals the final kinetic energy which is a half m1 v1 squared plus a half m2 v2 squared. The left hand side of this equation is the total initial kinetic energy whereas the right hand side of the equation is the total final kinetic energy of the system. Now let's put this theory of elastic collisions to test. Imagine we have a 2 kilogram trolley with an initial velocity of 12 meters per second and there's a 6 kilogram trolley in front that is initially stationary. The question is, what will the trolley's velocities be after they collide into one another if this collision is elastic? We're going to start off using the idea of conservation of kinetic energy as we've seen before. That was the generic equation. Notice how we can cancel the fraction of a half in front of every single component. We're going to then substitute in the value for the masses and the velocities. We're left with 144 is equal to v1 squared plus 3v2 squared. This is equation number one. To solve two unknowns, we require two equations. But luckily, we know that in collisions, momentum is also conserved. So we're going to use the generic equation for the conservation of momentum. If you need a reminder of where this comes from, do check out my previous lesson on conservation of momentum. I'll put a link in the description for you. Using conservation of momentum, m1u1 plus m2u2 is equal to m1v1 plus m2v2. The initial velocity of the second trolley is zero, so this component is going to cancel to zero. We are left with v1 is equal to 12 minus 3v2. This is our second equation. We now have two equations. We will substitute equation 2 into equation 1. Once we expand this bracket, multiply out, and then simplify, we get 72 is equal to 12 v2. So v2 is 6 meters per second. And finally, we're going to put this information back into equation number 2. We find that v1 is equal to minus 6 meters per second. The minus sign here is significant because it tells us that trolley number one recoils in the opposite direction after the collision takes place.